So some of you have asked if I could show you how to do some potting on of seedlings and splitting of seedlings. Um, so some of the things that you need are small pots, some labels. Um, I've been using um, milk cartons, which uh, with a, a permanent pen work very well. So you'll need a sharp implement, I use a pencil, but an old plant label will do the same. A tray with an inch of water in it, ready to soak the pots and whatever you're going to pot on. These are a small tomato planted oh, probably about five, four or five weeks ago, not long. It's called yellow currant and have really tiny little fruits on them, um, but more than ready to pot on. I've started, um, but all you need to do is begin. So very gently you can put your hands into the pot and just break some of them away. This seed compost is very light, so it breaks up very easily. So the general rule of thumb is you don't really want to be touching the roots. Um, you can prise one out at a time as well, it's the other way, by holding the second, first leaf, you see, and gently lift from underneath and take one at a time. See how wonderful that comes away. You can fill your pots ready if you want. I like to fill about half full, make a hole, drop the seedling in, and just use your tool or very gently drop some compost in, try and keep it upright, final tap and drop it in the water and don't forget to label and you just want to keep going. The compost you use here I'm using a mixture of the peat free with some topsoil out the garden um, which I had available, it just makes your compost go further if you have any spare you could sieve some compost maybe that you made in the garden it needs to be fine and light as possible. So again, gently just take, hold it by the little leaf. And that's an awkward one. Take it from the top. If you can, these two are very stuck together. If you lose one, don't worry. You'll have plenty. There will be a few casualties on the way, but don't worry about that. If you happen to get pulled away, quickly just cover up each root. If you don't finish in time, cover them up. If you've got a piece of plastic, cover it. And if you don't use all your compost, cover that with a bit of plastic and be ready to use the next time you need it. All you need to do is get the music on and carry on going. Enjoy your potting on.